Oh, you're a left, left hand writer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like my daughter. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it, to write. Always can I, can I read your, your tattoos? My oh, tattoos? Oh, my. They're really are fantastic. A yeah. This is like a Nosferatu I know, with uh, yeah. the kiss of Klimt. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, this is for the Beauty and the Beast yeah. book and rose. So, this is for Tim Burton because I love a lot Tim Burton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is what the number. I want to read the number. It's a foreign concert, a very important concert for me. It was about a Gothic metal, Finnish Gothic metal band. Ah, you are, you are a little bit in the heavy metal, Gothic metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> great. I think it would be a great, great interview now. <laughs> yeah. Forty-two. Andin, proprio come Barbara Phoenix Transit, è una storia d'amore. Oggi però credo che abbiamo un po' dimenticato che cosa voglia dire amare. Pensiamo spesso e volentieri a noi stessi, a discriminare, a uccidere, a odiare. Credo che non viviamo in un, in un buon mondo in questo momento, non è il mondo migliore. Cosa ti spinge quindi ancora a scrivere e a dirigere storie d'amore, storie come quella di Andin? Now you know, uh, I think um, there are in, in bad movies, yeah, you, someone is looking at, be at a beautiful girl or a girl is looking to a handsome man and then they say this is love. Yeah? For me, love is production, it's work, labor, mm -hmm. uh, lavoro. Yeah? Si, si, si. So, and, uh, I want, and cinema is always about things which, ha which happens, which are not, yeah, and so Uh, for me, a love story, it's, it's something to, it's like a production, someone wants to open, it, to open himself, someone wants, has fear to lose control, but all these things are working, it's, it's, it's like working, it's a love factory I'm thinking about, <laughs> and all these women, for example, in Barbara, yeah, Nina mm -hmm, Hoss, yeah. she, she, uh, she doesn't want to love. Yeah? So, so this is also a work. Now I don't want to laugh. I want to be by myself. I don't want yeah. to lose control. The other thing also, Undine is, is someone who says, all the men loves my, uh, 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 will love my body, mm -hmm. my sexuality, my erotic. Yeah? But, they, but this is not real love. Yeah? And the first time in her life, she, she, uh, she had someone who really loved her for the things she pronounced, for the things she knows. Yeah? And therefore, for me, love is not a feeling, love is a production. Oh. Yeah? Andin incontra il mito, la favola e la leggenda. Quindi, secondo te, le favole, la magia, gli amori immortali ci possono, in un certo qual senso, salvarci, salvarci da noi stessi? They could describe the world. Mm -hmm. yeah? For example, when I... I don't know the word, the, 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 the title of this uh, fairy tale in English, Hänsel und Grete, by, uh, mm -hmm. by the Gebrüder Grimm, yeah? mm -hmm. It, about this with the, with the witch in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Hansel yeah? and Gretel. Yeah, Hansel <laughs> and Gretel, yeah. It's, it's telling for me when I have read this uh, 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 fairy tale when I was six, six or seven, yeah? mm -hmm. I understand something about to be alone, to be not loved by father and mother, mm -hmm. yeah? to be in a forest, this is the world, to, to, to be in contact, to mean things, yeah? so you understand it, you are not alone as a child. Yeah? And the Undine, uh, the Undine fairy tale is also a fairy tale who tells us a story about male subjects. When a man wants to have sex with you, he says, I will marry you, I want to have children with you. When they have to love production, mm -hmm. yeah? they are not interested anymore. Yeah? And Undine is, is a victim of the circumstances. Cosa rappresenta per te far parte di una giuria di un'edizione del Festival di Venezia così atipica e differente? Our jury talked about this subject this morning, yeah? because um, this is the first big festival mm -hmm. after, uh, uh, since six and a half yeah. months, six, seven months. Yeah? After Berlin. Af after Berlin. Yeah? And, uh, It's so the Americans are not here because of COVID, uh, because of the Oscars, uh, and everything is, uh, every, 
everyone is irritated yeah? mm -hmm. and so we are sitting it's here and we feel all the jury members we love each movie yeah? sometimes we hate it after but <laughs> not, mostly mostly we, we love to go in the cinema mm -hmm. together with other people and some of the movies i've saw they're really totally different to things like uh, like to sit at home and uh, watch netflix mm -hmm. yeah? they yeah. open windows they open doors you see the world again with a with netflix and amazon and tv you can't see the world you yeah. you're, you're alone by yourself in your apartment in your flat but with these movies we have seen most many of them they opened us a new vision of the world and this was a really great experience here hai detto che mi avresti amata per sempre e questo mi ha resa felice più felice di quanto sia mai stata in vita mia